नारायण पद्मभुव वशिष्ठ शक्ति तत्पुत्रपराशर व्यास शुकंगौड़पद महांत गोविंद योगींद्रमथा शिष्य श्रीशंकराचार्यमथा पद्म हस्तामलक शिष्य तोटक वार्तिकस्मदुरून सततमस्मी भगवद्गीता चैप्टर टू श्लोक ट्वेंटी टू वासांसी जीर्णा यथा विहाय नवा गृहाति नोपराणी तथा शरीरा विहाय जीर्णा अन्यानि संयाति नवानि देहि वी विल सी द भाष्य वासांसी वस्त्राणि वस्त्राणि जीर्णानि जीर्णानि दुर्बलतां गतानि दुर्बलतां गतानि यथा लोके यथा लोके विहाय विहाय परित्यज्य परित्यज्य नवानि नवानि अभिनवानि अभिनवानि गृह्णाति गृह्णाति उपादत्ते उपादत्ते नरः नरः पुरुषः पुरुषः अपराणि अपराणि अन्यानि अन्यानि तथा तद्वदेव तद्वदेव शरीराणि विहाय शरीराणि विहाय जीर्णानि जीर्णानि अन्यानि संयाति अन्यानि संयाति संगच्छति संगच्छति नवानि देहि नवानि देहि आत्मा आत्मा पुरुषवत अविक्रिया एव वासांसी इज ईक्वल टू वस्त्राणि क्लॉथ्स जीर्णानि वॉर्न आउट जीर्णानि इज ईक्वल टू दुर्बलतां गतानि विच हैव बिकम वीक बिकॉज ऑफ बीइंग ओल्ड decrepit they have become decrepit that kind of clothes yatha loke yatha loke should be connected in the beginning yatha just as yatha indicates that it is example drashtanta and the drashtanta is given when we give a drashtanta we take an instance which is seen in the world generally known in the world therefore bhashyakara says loke in the world we see this happening familiar to all लोक प्रसिद्ध दृष्टांत शुड बी लोक प्रसिद्ध दार्ष्टांत इज नॉट लोक प्रसिद्ध दार्ष्टांत इज शास्त्र सिद्ध टू अंडरस्टैंड शास्त्र सिद्ध दार्ष्टांत 
ವಿ ನೀಡ ಲೋಕಸಿದ್ಧ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದೃಷ್ಟಾಂತ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಸೇಸ್ ಲೋಕೆ ದೃಷ್ಟಾಂತ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಲೋಕ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಜೀರ್ಣಿ ವಾಸಿ ವಿಹಾಯ ವಿಹಾಯ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿಹಾಯ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಪರಿತ್ಯಜ್ಯ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ನವಾನಿ ನವಾನಿ ಅನ್ಯಾನಿ ನವಾನಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಅಭಿನವಾನಿ ನ್ಯೂ ವನ್ಸ್ ಗೃಹಾತಿ ಗೃಹಾತಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಉಪಾದತ್ತೆ ಗ್ರಹ ಉಪಾದಾನೇ ಧಾತು ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಧಾತು ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಧಾತು ಪಾಠ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಗ್ರಹ ಉಪಾದಾನೆ ಗೃಹಾತಿ ಉಪಾದತ್ತೆ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನರಹ ಹೂ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ನರಹ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಪುರುಷ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಪುರುಷ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ಸಹಸ್ರಶೀರ್ಷ ಆಫ್ ಪುರುಷ ನಾಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪುರುಷ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಪುರುಷ ದ ಪುರುಷ ಆಸ್ ರಿವೀಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಔಪನಿಷದ ಪುರುಷ ದ ಪುರುಷ ರಿವೀಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಔಪನಿಷತ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಔಪನಿಷದ ಪುರುಷ ಪೃಚ್ಛಾಮಿ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಪುರುಷ ದೇರ್ ಯು ಕಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪುರುಷ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ದೇರ್ ಪುರುಷ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ you have to see the derivational meaning purnatvat purushah or purishete iti purushah he resides in the pura in the body Bo- body which is uh, compared to a city that is one meaning of purusha purishete iti purushah or purnatvat purushah he is purna therefore purusha purusha means brahman atma that is what we find in vedanta upanishadah purushah the purusha revealed by upanishad but this is not purusha revealed by upanishad this is purusha which is loka prasiddha therefore man purusha means man so man wears cloth that doesn't mean woman doesn't wear man wears clothes woman also wears so so it is not uh, n- 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 bhashyakara or krishna don't intend any gender discrimination so man means any human being in general that is the idea so naraha purushaha aparani anyani aparani is another adjective to vasamsi aparani and navani these are two adjectives to vasamsi not the first vasamsi another vasamsi we have to supply new other clothes other new clothes aparani is equal to anyani other cloth different from 
द वन विच इज वॉर्न आउट तथा तथा इज इक्वल टू तद्वेवा दार्ष्टा सिमिलरली जीर्णा शरीर विहाय गिविंग अप जीर्ण शरीर गिविंग अप दि ओल वॉर्न औट बॉडी अन्या नवा संग संयाती अन्या अदर बॉडी विच आर न्यू अदर बॉडी विच आर न्यू संयाति इज इक्वल टू संगति टेक्स अप एटेन्स देही देही इज इक्वल टू आत्मा दि आत्मा पुषवत् अविक्रिय वाट इज दि इंटेडेड ईडिया इन दि श्लोक आत्मा पुषवत् अविक्रिय ठति वेन् द क्लाथ ईज चेंजड द पर्सन डस् नाट चेंज वि चेंज ऑफ द क्लाथ the person does not change the person remains unaffected with the change of the cloth likewise the atma remains unaffected with the change of the body this is the purport of the shloka purushavat avikriyaha आत्मा ई सविक्रिय लाइक पुरुष लाइक एन इंडिविजुअल विद रेस्पेक्ट टू द क्लॉथ दट्स ऑल अदरवाइज पुरुष इज नॉट अविक्रिय वी शुड नॉट एक्सटेंड द एग्जांपल टू मच ओनली फ्रॉम द स्टैंड पॉइंट ऑफ द क्लॉथ पुरुष इज अविक्रिय बट आत्मा इज एब्सोल्यूटली अविक्रिय that is another another part of it see the example fits only as far as the cloth is concerned atma the individual is avikriya only to that part the example should be understood कस्मादिक्रिय आकाश ऑफ वाट रीजन आत्मा ईस अविक्रिय अविक्रिय आत्मा ईस अविक्रिय आह कृष्ण से स्वंसगेन already this idea has been conveyed but once again krishna explains the avikriyatva the hetu for avikriyatva nainam chindanti shastrani nainam chindanti shastrani नैनम दहति पावक न चैनम क्लेदयोषयति दिस इज वन मोर वे ऑफ एक्सप्लेनिंग अविक्रिय hetu for avikriyatva is given differently enam shastrani na chindanti shastrani the weapons do not cut the atma enam atmanam this atma shastrani the weapons na chindanti they do not cut
एनम पावक न दहती एनम आत्मा दिस आत्मा पावक फय न दहती डस् नाट बर्न एनम आप न क्लेदयती च आप वाटर डस् नाट सोक दि आत्मा आप इस ऑलवेज प्लूरल अपशब्द नित्य बहुवचनांत एंड नित्य स्त्रीलिंग स्त्रीलिंग एंड नित्य बहुवचन अपशब्द देर फोर आप न क्लेदयती क्लेदयती इस प्लूरल न शोषयति मारुता मारुता विंड एयर डस् नाट ड्रई अप दि आत्मा एयर डस् नाट ड्रई दि आत्मा therefore none of the elements in the world can affect the atma therefore atma is avikriya so this serves as one more hetu for avikriyatva enam prakritam dehinam न छिंदी शस्त्राणि निरवयवत्वा न अवयव विभाग शस्त्राणि अस्यादीनी एनम एनम इस प्रणाम सर्वनाम एक शब्द एनम सो वेन एनम इज सेंट वी हेव टू अंडरस्टैंड वाट इज एनम वाट इज दिस सो वेन एवर ए प्रनौन इज यूस्ड लाइक इदम और एतद सच प्रोनाउंस आर यूस्ड इट रेफर्स टू प्रकृत वॉट एवर इज अंडर डिस्कशन देर फॉर शंकराचार्य सीस एनम इज ईक्वल टू प्रकृत द सब्जेक्ट मैट विच इज अंडर डिस्कशन इट इज रेफर्ड टू by the sarvanama the pranoun and who is prakrita dehinam dehi atma na chindanti shastrani shastrani na chindanti shastras weapons do not cut him why the weapons are not able to cut him निरवयवत्वा सिंस ही इज निरवयव आत्मा डस् नाट हेव अवयव आत्मा डस् नाट हेव पार्ट कटिंग मीन अवयव विभाग मूविंग द पार्ट सेपरेटिंग द पार्ट that is the process of cutting you take away some parts from the rest of the parts avayava vibhaga is called cutting when there is no avayava there cannot be avayava vibhaga also only when there is avayava you can talk of avayava vibhaga 
separation of parts if someone has a hand the hand can be cut amputated if someone has hair the hair can be trimmed with the shastra with the blade razor you can shave so even shaving is avayava vibhaga you lose some avayavas that is what a few of us do every now and then we cut some parts of our body but the atma does not have any avayava it is niravayava therefore avayava vibhaga is not possible so na avayava vibhagam kurvanti no no weapon can cause avayava vibhaga in the atma because it is niravayava shastrani weapons bhashyakara explains what are the weapons asyadini asi etc asi means sword sword knife asi adi adi padat all other weapons tatha नैनम दहति पावक अग्निरपि न भस्मी करोति तथा ऑल्सो एनम पावक न दहति पावक इज इक्वल टू अग्नि फायर न दहति is equal to na bhasmi karoti fire does not turn the atma into ashes bhasmi karoti tri pratyaya tri abhuta tad bhave krubhasti yoge sampadya kartari tri that is the sutra भस्मी करोति मीन्स टर्न इट टू ऐशस रेड्यूसिंग इन टू ऐशस फायर डस नॉट रेड्यूस दि आत्मा इन टू ऐशस तथा नयन क्लेदयती आप apamhi saavayavasya vastunah ardri bhavakaranena avayava vishleshapadane samarthyam tanna niravayave atmani sambhavati तथा नयन क्लेदयप तथा लाइक्वाइज आप वाटर डस् नाट सोक दि आत्मा एनम आप न क्लेदयती द वाटर कैन सोक सर्टन थिंग्स एंड डीकंपोज things get decomposed because of water any saavayava vastu any object which has parts gets soaked in water and gets decomposed 
that is what happens if you put any flower or anything into ganga slowly it will get soaked and uh, it will break into pieces so bhashyakara explains how water destroys things apam savayavasya vastunaha any savayava vastu ardribhavakaranena by soaking ardribhavakaranena by infusing moisture into it by soaking avayava vishlesha apadane samarthyam avayava vishlesha apadane in breaking the avayavas decomposition apam samarthyam the water is capable of doing this water has the samarthya the ability to destroy by soaking various objects tanna niravayave atmani sambhavati but the same is not possible with the niravayava atma niravayave atmani the atma which is niravayava niravayave is hetu garbha visheshana adjective see niravayave is given as adjective here but the adjective communicates the hetu the reason why water cannot soak it water cannot destroy it. such adjectives are called hetu garbha visheshanas the hetu is not given as a hetu directly niravayavatvat he could have said but he has not said niravayavatvat hetu is generally given in panchami vibhakti instead of saying niravayavatvat he just says niravayave atmani he just puts it as an adjective to atma tatha sneha vadravyam sneha shoshanena nashayati vayuhu enantu atmanam na shoshayati marutah api akashavat akashavat is not there is there enam tu atmanam and here it is swatmanam enam swatmanam enam tu atmanam yeah that's fine that's fine anything is okay <laughs> as long as it is not wrong <laughs> so yeah so tatha likewise snehavad dravyam so now bhashyakara explains how vayu can destroy things how air can destroy things so a snehavad dravya a substance which has moisture a substance with the moisture content like even a flower even a flower should have some moisture it, it has water content in it flower or fruit vegetable even our body 90% of our body is water so it is all snehavad dravya material with the lot of moisture content if the water content is removed then it will die it is destroyed 
so there are snehavad dravya materials objects with the moisture content with the water content sneha shoshanena vayuhu nashayati sneha shoshanena by drying up the sneha sneha does not mean love okay uh, sneha means it has another sense stickiness you know to be sticky sticky nature is called sneha so here it just means moisture or water content sneha shoshanena by drying up the sneha vayu nashayati the vayu air destroys it it get dried up and then it is died it is dead anything that dries up it is no longer alive like flower fruit even plants enantu atmanam na shoshayati marutah api enam atmanam this atma it does not have any water content it is niravayava therefore it does not have water in it therefore marutah api even the wind air does not dry up the atma akashavat like akasha like space the air cannot destroy space likewise it cannot destroy atma achedyo yamadahyo yam achedyo yamadahyo yam akledyo shoshya evacha akledyo shoshya evacha nitya sarvagatasthanu अचलोयम सनातन अयम अच्छेद्य अयम आत्मा दिस आत्मा इस अच्छेद्य इट कैन नॉट बी कट the one that cannot be cut is called achedya chetum yogya chedya that which can be cut is called chedya na chedya achedya adahyoyam the atma is adahya it cannot be burnt nadahya adahya dagdham yogya dahya that which can be burnt is called dahya nadahya adahya अक्लेद्य इट कैन नॉट बी सोकड एंड अशोष्य एवच इट इज ऑल्सो अशोष्य इट कैन नॉट बी ड्रईड बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रीवियस् श्लोक द रीजन इज गिवन इन द प्रीवियस् श्लोक therefore nityaha atma is nityaha and sarvagataha all pervasive nityaha is free from kala parichheda free from limitation in terms of time 
एंड सर्वगतः फ्री फ्रॉम देश परिच्छेद एज वेल एस वस्तु परिच्छेद यू कैन बोथ बोथ कैन बी टेकन स्थाणु स्थाणु मीन्स स्टडी स्थिर स्टडी लाइक ए पिलर स्थाणु लिटरली मीन्स पिलर सो हि स्थाणु मीन्स स्टडी लाइक ए पिलर फ्री फ्रॉम चेंजेस लाइक ए पिलर एंड अचल देर फोर अचल फ्री फ्रॉम मूमेंट्स अय सनातन सनातन मीन्स इट ऑलवेज एक्सिस्टेड एवर एक्सिस्टेड Bhashyakara explains it as it does not have origin. We will see the bhashya. Yataha evam tasmat yataha evam since atma is so since atma has the characteristics. As mentioned in the previous sloka, ataha tasmat, therefore, achedyoyam ityadi, achedyoyam adashyoyam, akledyaha ashorsya evacha. All those things have to be understood. Yasmat. अन्शेतूनी सो नौ भाष्यकार कनेक्ट्स दिस लाइन द फर्स्ट लाइन पूर्वाध एस ए हेतु फॉर दर्ड नित्य इन उत्तराध हि इज गिविंग हेतु हेतु मद्भाव संगति बिट्वीन ईच डिस्क्रिप्शन प्रीवियस श्लोक इज हेतु फॉर पूर्वाध ऑफ दि श्लोक अच्छेद्योयम अदाह्योयम एट्सेट्रा and purvardha of this shloka is hetu for nitya uttarartha so yasmat since anyonya nasha hetu ni bhutani the bhutas the elements the five elements they cause mutual destruction one destroys another among the five elements one doesn't like another this person complains about the other person and the other person complains about this person anyonya nasha hetu ni bhutani fire destroys water fire can destroy water if you heat up water for a long time the water can disappear likewise water can destroy fire just put some water on fire and it will go therefore water and fire are anyonya nasha hetu likewise wind can destroy water we have seen 
and fire can destroy earth flood we have seen so there are anyonya nasha hetu the elements cause mutual destruction one can destroy the other in many ways but they cannot destroy the atma none of them can destroy the atma bhutani enam atmanam nashayitum na utsahante they are not capable of destroying this atma enam atmanam tasmat nityah therefore atma is nityah so nityah means nasha rahitah ityartha bhashyakara takes nitya as nasha rahita no destruction ಸಿನ್ಸ್ಮಾರ್ ಆತ್ಮಾ yeah since atma is nitya therefore atma is sarvagata <laughs> does it sound logical yeah so we have to use a different logic here see how the logic works we have to understand let's make an anuman ಆತ್ಮಗತ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರತಿಜ್ಞಾ ಆತ್ಮಗತ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರತಿಜ್ಞಾ ದ ಹೇತು ಗಿವನ್ ಈಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವಾತ್ ಹೇತು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟಿಫೈ ದ ಹೇತು to justify the hetu we should have a vyapti vyapti means invariable concomitance vyapti is called invariable concomitance in english what is invariable concomitance yeah a regular coexistence of two things a regular coexistence of two things unfailing coexistence of two things is called vyapti if one is present the other is present invariable coexistence it is called vyapti for example yatra yatra dhumah tatra tatra vannihi wherever there is dhumah smoke there is fire if there is smoke there is fire it is a vyapti yatra yatra dhumah tatra tatra vannihi this is a vyapti invariable concomitance if smoke is there fire has to be there so this is a positive correlation of the two correlation of presence of two it is called anvaya vyapti the correlation of the presence of the two 
is called anvayavyapti likewise we can have another vyapti here correlation of the absence of the two how to make it see yatra yatra dhumah tatra tatra vanhi it is anvaya vyapti then there is correlation of the absence it is called vyatireka vyapti how to do vyatireka vyapti yatra yatra vanhya bhavah tatra tatra dhuma bhavah where there is absence of vanhi there is absence of dhuma where there is absence of vanhi there is absence of dhuma also in the vyatireka vyapti it will be ulta reverse you can't say yatra dhuma bhavah tatra vanya bhavah not that yatra vanya bhavah tatra dhuma bhavah it is vyatireka vyapti so now for both anvaya vyapti and vyatireka vyapti we have to give drishtant for anvaya vyapti the drishtant is mahanasam kitchen not the modern kitchen ancient kitchen but for vyatireka vyapti what will be the drashtanta maha hradaha a lake in a lake you don't find vanni and you don't find smoke also vanya bhava and dhuma bhava both are there it is vyatireka drashtanta ಅನ್ವಯ ದೃಷ್ಟಾಂತ ಅಂಡ್ ವ್ಯತಿರೇಕ ದೃಷ್ಟಾಂತ ಸೊ ನೌ ದ ಅನ್ವಯ ಇದ ದ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ವತೋ ವನ್ಹಿಮಾನ್ ಪ್ರತಿಜ್ಞಾ ಧೂಮಾತ್ ಹೇತು ದೆನ್ ಉದಾಹರಣ ಸಾರಿ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿ ವಿ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿ ಯತ್ರ ಯತ್ರ ಧೂಮ ತತ್ರ ತತ್ರ ವನ್ಹಿ ಅನ್ವಯ ಅನ್ವಯ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿ for that udaharanam is uh, mahanasam yatha mahanasam yatra yatra dhuma yatra yatra vanya bhavah tatra tatra dhuma bhavah vyatirekena mahahradah so mahahradah yatha mahahradah so like that we can give we we can justify the logics that is how the logic is presented now in some logics we won't have anvaya drishtanta anvaya drishtanta you won't have at all instead you will have only vyatireka drishtanta because it is a unique case there cannot be any other thing like that therefore to ascertain such a thing you won't have anvaya drishtanta you will have only vyatireka drishtanta see in this case atma sarvagatah atma is sarvagatah the hetu given is nityatvat you won't find an anvaya drashtanta because yatra yatra nityatvam tatra tatra sarvagatatvam you cannot have a drishtanta why because only atma is nitya everything else is anitya 
ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವ್ಯತಿರೇಕ ದೃಷ್ಟಾಂತ ಯತ್ರ ಯತ್ರ ಸರ್ವಗತತ್ವ ಅಭಾವ ತತ್ರ ತತ್ರ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವ ಅಭಾವ ವೇರ್ ಎವರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸರ್ವಗತತ್ವ ಅಭಾವ ಆಬ್ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ವಗತತ್ವ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಚ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಒನ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಯಥಾ ಘಟ ಲೈಕ್ ಘಟ ಲೈಕ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸರ್ವಗತ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವ ಆಲ್ಸೋ and based on this we can say see yatra yatra sarvaga tattva bhavah tatra tatra nityatva bhavah then the reverse also should be true yatra yatra nityatvam tatra tatra sarvaga tattvam we cannot observe it in another instance but it has to be true because the because the counter vyapti vyatireka vyapti we have seen that is a way of logic that is how this logic works so that is why nityatvat sarvagatah so to understand this we have to understand the working of logic so nityatvat sarvagatah i hope it is clear sarvagatatvat sthanuhu ಸರ್ವಗತ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸರ್ವಗತ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಥಾಣು ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಪರ್ವೇಸಿವ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಥಾಣು ಸ್ಥಾಣು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪಿಲ್ಲರ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಥಾಣು ಸ್ಥಾಣು ರಿವ ಸ್ಥಿರ ಇತ್ಯೇತತ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಥಾಣು ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಥಿರ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಥಾಣು ಸೊ ಗೌಣಿ ವೃತ್ತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಗೌಣಿ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಸಿಂಹೋ ಮಾಣವಕ ಎ ಬಾಯ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಯನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಲಯನ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರೇವ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಲಯನ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಲಯನ್ so likewise sthanuh sthanuh iva sthiraha steady like sthanu like a pillar therefore atma is called sthanuh sthiratvat achalaha ayam atma ataha ಸನಾತನ ಚಿರಂತನ ನ ಕಾರಣ ಕುತಶ್ಚಿತ್ ನಿಷ್ಪನ್ನ ಅಭಿನವ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಸೊ ಸ್ಥಿರತ್ವಾತ್ ಅಚಲ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಥಿರ ಸ್ಟಿಡಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಚಲ not moving not shaking ayam atma this atma atah sanatanah since it is achalah therefore sanatanah bhashyakara explains sanatanah sanatanah is equal to chirantanah one that exists ever forever chirantana sanatana and nitya they seem to be repetitions 
then we have to understand the difference between the two nitya means nasha rahita already we have seen that see tasmat sorry nashaitum na utsahante tasman nitya so nitya means nasha rahita and sanatanaha bhashyakara explains as utpatti rahita na karanat kutaschin nishpannaha atma is not produced from any karana any cause and therefore na abhinavaha not new at any point of time ityarthaha this is the implied meaning of sanatana so does not have origin that is the idea conveyed by sanatana so now bhashyakara is answering a possible doubt in our mind in these shlokas lot of ideas are repeated many ideas are repeated in these shlokas starting from shloka 12 itself many ideas are repeated in fact one shloka na jayate mriyate ityadi one shloka would have been enough almost all other shlokas are repeating the same ideas either directly same words are used like nitya etc and sometimes same ideas are conveyed so there is a repetition one may raise this objection why krishna is repeating the same thing and if krishna is repeating even swami will repeat the same thing why so much of repetition this uh, doubt is raised and bhashyakara says the repetition is needed because it is not easy to understand the atma even if it is told many times therefore krishna is deliberately repeating so that he can drive home the vision of atma tattva we will see in the next session om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hi हरि ओ श्रीगुभ्यो नम हरि ओ